What's good? It's your boy Young Bubba Detox. I'm in here with my boy Steve Rocks at Quantum B Studio. It's DME TV interview. Way too much flex, flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking cause they never. So what's good, boy? What's, what's going on, on bro? What's going what's on, up? man? Yeah, man. I can finally sit down with DME TV, man. You know what's up? So you know, I'm watching you. Okay. And I've been listening to your shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh the meta album. It's yeah. tight, bro. I appreciate that, man. I um, appreciate it. What it, what it take to put it together? Who all you work with? Everything like that. Well, it took it really took me a, a minute, man. It took me about a year mm -hmm. to pretty much finish finish it how I wanted. You know what I mean? Sonically, just just listening to it. But it was overall an, an experience and an experiment. Right. Like uh, you know, like I was just telling you off camera before, like it was just um, it was just an experience. It's an experiment, you know, with, with me. Being a, a new producer, you know, what I mean, getting my feet wet in the production game, and, mm -hmm. and you know, um, I'm back rapping and, and I'm rapping and singing and writing over this, over my own beat. So it was an, an experiment, man. It was, it was dope. I worked with um, Beats by Louie okay. um, for the intro track and a couple other tracks that I produced, he uh, co-produced as well, and High Rise and um, shout out High Rise, George Sean. Yeah, and um, and um. Uh, on um, my production team, the Nukes Music out of Charlotte, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I got them on a the project. You know, they um they helped me construct the last project that I did down to earth. And you know, what I mean, I, I I didn't feel like the project would be complete without having them on this one. So yeah, yeah. Uh, what it takes teamwork. Yeah. Um, what do you prefer, rapping or singing, or or, <laughs> or what do you think the people prefer? What what do you get the best reaction out of when you do either or? I, I really, I really think they, I really think they like both. I really think they like people who do both. You know what I mean? Who can give them the best of that, that, that both worlds, and and still, and 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 be a little street with it too. Okay. And I think I, I just think people are getting into the to the age where they just like people to be direct, and that's where rappers, and I mean singers, they they're direct too. But you know, rappers are pretty much you know straightforward, right. bar for bar. But and and that's really where. You know what I mean? They they pretty much blurring lines and they loving it. <laughs> True. So, yeah, I think they like both. Though I think they like both. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like singing more, but oh, I like rapping like too. I like more. rapping too. I just like rapping. You know what I mean? I like rapping. I'm but, with the dogs. But, but why do you like singing more? Do you think you're better at it, or do you think it's just more passion? You can get a a bigger fan base, or what? Wide variety of content. Like well, uh. I can sing something. I can just sing anything, and somebody will like it. Right. <laughs> you can sing whatever, like you know. Mm -hmm. what I mean? People just like hearing people holding notes, right? Like, elongated, some for some odd reason, because Young Thug don't say a damn thing. Right. <laughs> you, just, you know what I mean? It's the vibe that exactly. he brings to the song. Exactly. So okay. yeah. And um, what, you, what, what was the other question you asked? What was the other question? I oh, used to you was asking me the bet the uh, which um, do I get a better feeling out of singing? Yeah, I do. Like singing is just. The emotion, like I get to display emotion, and you know that's uh, I, I think that's rare in music. Right. Um, but now you got some rappers who doing it now, you know. Exactly. Uh, shout out to YF and Luchi. He, he display a lot of emotion. Uh, I say Young Thug display a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. I say, I say Rich Homie he displayed a lot of emotion. But rappers are displaying a lot of emotion with elongated notes now. So right. it's becoming more accepted in, in like areas that. It wasn't norm. It wasn't normal. Man. So, all right. So, so good now. If you had to pick a genre for yourself, now you know, hip hop is not just boom bap no more. It's not just about the lyrics. You know, now it's it's different now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so is R and B. It's so many sub genres. Right, and, right, right, right. You know, like like most rappers or rappers nowadays, they rock stars. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, or, right, right. or vice versa. So, how do you feel like if, if you had to put yourself in a genre? What, what would your genre be? <laughs> I don't feel like I could. Like. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I I mean I don't feel like I could fit. I don't I don't fit. I don't fit in. <laughs> you just all over. You yeah, I'm all over. Yeah. yeah, I do. I pretty much I, I I I put myself in in all type of environments. Like I like I like country music. I like rock right. music. I like pop. You know, I pretty much, I grew up on Michael Jackson. I'm riding around listening to Paul McCartney right okay. now. Right. Right. You know what I mean? And, and uh, 70s, you know, 70s rock, 60s. 80s rock, like I was a fan, so I mean, I, I like the whole rock star thing too. Like, right. I like the Beatles and you know, yeah, I mean, me too. Yeah, everybody yeah. doing, you know, 
I don't think I can be placed in the genre, so I mean, I was always well rounded in, when it came to music. Uh -huh. oh. In my, my ear, like, for, for like the music, like, it was. So, so, so basically, it, that goes to my next question. That's basically what inspires you. Yeah. Good music. Right. And not being biased, just where you come from or right. what you're used to or what your surroundings or right. people that you hang with may like. It's about what you like and, mm -hmm. and that's what helps you to, to bring such a good track to the right. table and things right. like that. Yeah, and just to be diverse, you know what I mean? Be diverse when you come come in the studio, man. Like, when, when you, you know what I mean? Versus when you hearing a, you keep listening to a Gucci track all day, you're going to pretty much... Come yeah, sounding like Gucci, man. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah. yeah, you gonna come having Gucci melodies, you're gonna mm -hmm. come Gucci rhymes, you, mm -hmm. know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. If you mix it up and add a little, like, Paul McCartney or Stevie Wonder or somebody, or somebody old or somebody you wouldn't normally listen to, like a, like a, uh, 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 John Mayer or something like that, you know what I mean? True. You mix them in with your music and you, you, you start to feel like, you like, oh, snap, like, I'm, I'm doing key changes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing uh, yeah, key. yeah. In rap, though, in hip hop, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, Kendrick Lamar, he does key changes because he broadens his, his ear, like, he, he right. listens to a variety of different music, like, so, yeah. Okay, so then I'm on, who do you think people compare you to, as I in, mean. as in, you know, I say mainstream, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, uh, you, you, I feel like, in my opinion, you have a great reputation. You know what I'm saying? You work hard and, and your name's out there. But, you know, who do you think they, they compare you to in, uh, in the mainstream? Well, they compare me, I mean, I, I get compared a lot to uh, you know, Chris Brown, but, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, do, I do a lot behind the scenes, okay. too. So, I mean, people compare me to Neo also, then they'll, then they'll turn around and they'll say, you know, like, uh, uh, Eric Bellinger. Cause okay. he's behind the scenes guy as well. Um, James Fauntleroy. I get compared to a lot of behind the scenes people because, but that are still relevant in main. You know what I mean? In the limelight as well. They, okay. I get compared to those guys because that's pretty much. I think them the people who I look up to. Like they, they are the creators. Uh, you know what yeah, I mean? exactly. Yeah. Other, other mainstream artists like James Fauntleroy writes all Rihanna music, and you know he. He just was on stage with Bruno Mars, the one yeah. with the, he had the rap, the fake, you know what I mean? The oh yeah, yeah. Going, like, okay. He just, he wrote, he pretty much wrote all James, uh, all Bruno Mars shit. <laughs> right. Justin Timberlake, he, but yeah, yeah. All right, behind and, the scenes people. And and you are a song, songwriter yourself. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and, uh, and, yeah. Uh, uh, and engineer. Engineer, songwriter, producer, yeah. rapper. I dance as well. Know. Pencil. I play the drums. I've been playing the drums since I've been five years old, and I'm just now getting to the point where I can. I, I want to teach myself other instruments. So I've been for like the past year or two. I've been teaching myself the guitar and the, and the keyboard. And, you know what I mean? Just and that's when the producing. That's where the producing came from. <laughs> so, that's tight. Though. Yeah. That's tight. So um, so what do you feel like? What what can help you get over that hump to make you get? Get where you really need to be. The money. Send the cash. I need all. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not but for it. Nah, but it, 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 it does take a lot of. Uh, it take a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it does. It take a sure. lot of. Man, you can just. My, but I just say, man, if you just keep moving around, bro, somebody's gonna see you. Like, just stay active. Like, don't ever give up. Stick to your guns. Like. Stick to the one too, like for real. Like don't even don't switch up, don't go sit. You know what I mean? Just right. Stay in the music. You gotta have both feet in. Staying persistent and yeah. Keep yeah. promo exactly. and everything like that. That's exactly. gonna keep you in the game. Exactly. Keep keep your keep your relationships. You know what I mean? Keep the lines of communication open. Best definitely keep your relationships. Keep yeah. relationships healthy too, healthy, right? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Keep keep them healthy. Keep your relationships healthy. Like yes. Cause you never know where people gonna end up. Like that's true. Very I mean? true. <laughs> Pierre Bourne. Shout out to Pierre Bourne. Yeah, very true. Shout yeah. out to Pierre Bourne. I got I got a deep yeah. by Pierre Bourne. Too. Yeah, he doesn't pop off. You know what I mean? He doesn't eat from right around the corner, right here. You know what I mean? I used to drop Buddy off at Fazoli's. You know what I mean? That's that's my that's that's my homie, but he, he real cool, man. Like I'm real proud of him. You know what I mean? Like oh, real. That's true. That's just crazy though. Yeah. yeah. Um. So then um. Yeah. So you doing all this songwriting and everything? You know. Um, you you you're artist, you're entertainer, but would you rather prefer 
songwriting over you know being the star you know what I'm saying because yeah, it's, it's perks to it but you know like I do I do prefer you know being behind the scenes more so than being like, you know famous or, or, some, or, or you know what I mean what have you because you know what I mean like it's just that that whole fame is it's, it's a price for it it has a longevity is that, is that yeah, what you're saying yeah and then, and then definitely the behind the scenes uh, you know it's a longevity behind the scenes and Man, I just like behind the scenes, period. Like, I but I love the stage too, though. I like to get on stage and perform, you know, stuff that I wrote, and you know, just, just, just give people that energy. You know what I mean? That I was feeling in the studio, on that stage. You know what I mean? Right. right. To give people try, try to get them the same energy, but I definitely just like being behind the scenes. Like, you know, okay. I, I get on stage and kill a few and do a tour. You know, I do like I'd be like one of those people who do like a tour every like two or three years after I'm done writing for everybody. You know what I mean? I'm on tour with all the people I wrote for. You know what I mean? Like. Okay. Um. Uh, anybody we should be looking out for that you that you working with that you bringing up? Anything uh, definitely, like that? man. Everybody, everybody in the cola. Look out for everybody in the cola, bro. Coming up, bro. For real, like, cause like we got our our own sound down here. We have our own. Exactly. We have our own entertainment. You know what I mean? Like lane here. Period. Like everybody do their own thing. Like nobody sound like they. A lot of people like to say we sound like Atlanta, Atlanta or, or something like that. Like, but I think Atlanta sound like us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody in Atlanta, everybody in Atlanta sounding like each other. Like after a while, the, the niggas gotta venture out. Who do you think they venturing out to? You know what I mean? <laughs> they venturing out to us, nigga. The, the niggas who they doing the features with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Them the, the niggas who paying for the features. Yeah, they say, no, no, they no, say no. that. <laughs> yeah, they say that. So, yeah, like, we pretty much got our own style, man, like. What makes you hungry, like, it's like, you know what I'm saying, like, a lot of people don't, a lot of people really don't have something that's driving them, that's, that's making them driven, that's making them want to push for more. What, what's, what's keeping you doing it? Because I know you've been doing it for a long time, like myself, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It started with the craft, yeah. then it started taking it serious, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's something that kept me going, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, what kept you going? What kept you... Just in the game, like you like you know, fuck this. I'm 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 gonna be in front of this all day. Right, I'm working really, on my music. And, it's really just know? the passion and the love for it, man. It's really just the the the, the die hard passion for it, like for real, like just to make one, just, just put yourself into it, man. Just really just like see it through. Right. You know what I mean, all the way through, like you just got to like you, you know that because when it gets to that that. That mission, that mission statement, or that end, that mm -hmm. end goal, you be like, you gonna look back and be like, yeah, dang, like I'm glad I saw that through. Like, right. Glad yeah. I, I'm glad I never quit. Never I'm glad I up. never gave up. I'm glad I just put myself in it and, and really love something, really gave something my all. True. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely like, <laughs> no, like I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere, man. Music. I want to see I want to see everybody do good, man. Everybody who has the same passion as me, like I want to see them come together and, and, and all of us, man, just be rich as hell. You know what I mean? Like, the, right. entertainment and music is our thing. You know what I mean? So, let's take right. that back. So, 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 like, what makes you? Well, 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 let me reword it. Let me reword it down. What makes you different than others? Like, so, like, so, like, when when, when somebody sees a Steve a Steve Rock CD. You know, say they're like, okay, I'm grabbing this Steve Rock CD because this, because he has this that nobody else has. You know what I'm saying? He, what this, this is what he brings to the table. This is why I'm such a big fan of him. Yeah, I, shit, because it's me. Like, I, I feel like I'm myself all around, all across the board. Like, I'm not trying to be nobody else. Like, like I've been, everything I've been, everything that I'm doing now, I've been wanting to do since I've been a, a kid. Like, right. I've been wanting to do, and the people who I've seen do that, I, I, I watch them and I, monitor them and I look at them and I, you know, and I take from them. I take bits right. and pieces from everybody, you know what I mean? Like, I feel and, and influence and influence myself and, and just to, to keep pushing forward. But uh, but what makes me different is just that just, just, I'm still myself, even right. with all the influence, you know what I mean? I'm still, I still be myself. I'm still going to do what I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm still going to do what I do, like my own thing. I'm going to try to push the fold. I'm going to push the boundaries. I'm going to try to do something different in every song like that I didn't do in the last song. Okay. So so, so every time you every time you, you go in that booth you stepping up another yeah, notch exactly. every time. Yeah. Exactly. You bringing it bigger and better. That's right. what it gotta be. Right, like. right. Exactly. Exactly. Every time I write a song, every time I write a, a, a bar, every time I come up with an idea, it gotta be better than the last one. Like. Right. Shout so, out to the niggas that still in ideas too. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, getting rich off other niggas' ideas. Chris Brown still in my cover. That just we ain't gonna talk about that. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> go deep. I mean, I mean, people, well, nah, people, I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> oh, oh, this is that just showing that great minds think alike, though. Okay, you know sure. what I mean, I'm great just, minds do think alike. Yeah, they do, they do because he, he, he was like right up my alley. Like, but I did put my cover out before he did. We shit. do have mutual people that we do. You know what I mean? We yeah, that follow and shit. <laughs> yeah, you know social I mean? media network. We got mutual friends. Period. That in the studio with with each other. Like, you know what I mean? That we, that we converse with. Yeah. Well, but it's okay. All right, all right. So your, your hit song, what's the name of it? And and, and where, where can we find it at? Your albums, your mixtape, Google, everything. You know, yeah, all definitely. platforms, everything. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my hit song, my single is South of the Border, man, and that's really, uh, uh that's a, 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 a anthem song for the cola, if you will. I say, you know what I mean, because I'm I'm really talking shit. I'm really kicking shit, you know what I mean? Okay. So go check that out. You can go find that. It's on iTunes, uh, Spotify. Uh, I do have it on YouTube. I did just upload it to SoundCloud, but you can still go buy that. You can still support and go buy that. Yeah, and make sure, and make sure y'all buy the music too. Like, yeah. like we got <laughs> you, can, you can listen. You can yeah. listen to them free, but yeah, you know, just can't, 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 at least buy the single. Yeah. Exactly. At least buy the single, you know what I mean? But yeah, definitely South for the Board. Check that out. Um, and now you can follow me on uh, social media uh, at I am Steve Rocks on IMG, oh, IG and Twitter um, and uh, uh, Snapchat is Steve Rocks together. Just put together Facebook Steve Rocks. Mm -hmm. Just Google Steve Rocks and everything should pop up. <laughs> okay. And that's Rocks R O X X too R O X X. Double X. Yeah, not R O C K S. No, none of that. So, yeah. Definitely, right. man. I was Steve Rock, my boy. Definitely, it's a pleasure. Definitely, man. Hey, Definitely, you know. man. Shout out to DMTV, too, man. Yes, sir. You know it. We out here. Young Bubba, Steve Rocks. Go get that Meta album. It's out right now. South for the board out right now. Give me TV, baby. All right. Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flexing. Not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking because they never know what's in the duffel.